This video contains nudity. Viewer discretion is advised. So what's this video all about? Today I want to talk about breathing. And I want to talk about the effect that that can have on your mind, on your body, and how that it can impact your day-to-day -day life or extreme circumstances in your life. I should begin by saying that I'm not a special example. I haven't had any special training, I'm not particularly tough, but there are a couple of methods that I've picked up over the years which can have real significant effects on the way your body can tolerate certain things, whether that could be cold, pain, heat, stress, panic, whatever it is. That being said, please seek expert advice before attempting any of the things you see in this video. What you'll see today, uh, this is just a demonstration of what these methods can achieve just in a normal person. Top to bottom challenge is coming up this weekend. If you haven't already, please check out the event on Facebook. The links are in the description down below. The weather has been particularly challenging over the last few days. A lot of us have had a problem getting around, traveling, getting back to our nice warm houses. But just take a moment if you can and imagine if you didn't have anywhere to go back to. Imagine sitting under a bridge with that Siberian wind howling through the underpass, sucking all the heat out of you. Not fun. Here in Birmingham, we lost a couple of people. Across the whole Northern Hemisphere, it will be the same story. So let's do something about it. Every penny counts. It doesn't matter whether it's 50p or 50 quid. Please give what you can. Links to the Just Giving page are in the description of this video as well. Let's dive right in. So, we're here in Birmingham. Temperature is about two, three degrees. And I've just woken up at this point. There has been no warm up. I haven't done any kind of preparation for this of any kind. I just decided I'd give it a shot. So we're coming in cold untrained. I haven't been doing cold exposure work prior to this. And the first breathing method you're going to see here is a light take on the Wim Hof method. So I'm starting by taking several deep inhalations. Not worrying too much about the exhalation, let it just be passive. So we're taking deep inhalations. For full details on the Wim Hofer methods, I suggest you check out his YouTube channel. There are thousands of videos all about that. So here I'm taking approximately 20 to 30 deep breaths. Then we are exhaling all the way out and retaining the breath outside. So that's holding on an exhale. We then inhale deeply and hold the inhale.
and after 15-20 seconds, exhale and breathe normally. So the next exercise I'm preparing for is a yogic breathing exercise called Kapalabhati. So I've placed my hands in Chin Mudra. And what we're doing is exhaling actively and allowing the inhale to be passive. So you're forcing the air out and allowing it to come back in naturally. I'm going a little bit fast here. It is rather cold. But the general advice would be to begin slowly. Work your speed up and then slow it back down again to finish. As we come to the end of a round, on the last exhalation, we hold the breath outside of the body. And the lungs naturally come to rest. We then inhale and take several normal deep breaths. And then when you're comfortable, Inhale deeply and hold the breath comfortably. We then exhale and return to normal breathing. This completes one round and here I will go through two more rounds. So we have the active exhale, passive inhale. Followed by external retention of the breath. Several deep conscious breaths and then internal retention of the breath, thus completing one round. Between one and three rounds are advised.
again, remember, I haven't had any special training. I haven't done any preparation for this particular activity. Going in literally cold. And as you can see, my body is in control. There is no shivering. My breathing is normal and strong. I can You can't see this, but I can tell you that my circulation was fine. I wasn't having any loss of sensation or pain in the extremities. The only complaint I have is that I got a very wet backside because I was melting the snow under me with my healthy core temperature.
So there we go, that's three rounds done. I feel fine at this point. I feel better at this point than when I first came out. Uh, and we'd have to put it to the test, but I feel as though I could continue doing this for a considerable amount of time yet. So thanks for watching, guys. Take it easy, and I'll see you next time.